Hello, my name's Ian Holden and I have the great privilege of being head of Wyvern House Preparatory School. And I'd like to welcome you to see our school today on a virtual tour of all of our facilities. It's also a great chance, we hope to see some of the boys in action so you get a bit of a flavour of our heartbeat of the school. Our aim is to make sure every boy has a fantastic time learning at Wyvern and learning is the most important thing we do. We encourage boys to get involved in many different things and one of the words that we don't like at Wyden is all. We don't like to see boys who choose to be one thing or another. So we have a great benefit where boys experience the cultural, the academic, the physical, the spiritual and the intellectual all in one go. We like the word and. We like the boys who have a go at being academically able as well as being fantastic at sport and music and creative and practical arts. Our focus is very much on boys. We want boys to be engaged, energised and challenged in the work they do here. So our very strong academic programmes support boys in that. But then boys explore all sorts of other ways of learning and becoming and being fantastic characters in our school. As you walk around the school today and see various parts of our school, we hope you get a sense of what Wyvern House is all about. Hi, my name is Sandra Gray, Head of Early Years and Deputy of Cater 2. Welcome to one of the kindergarten rooms of Wyvern House. Our approach at Wyvern House is a very structured but nurturing program for boys because this is how they learn best. Communication between home and school is a vital part of learning at Wyvern. It's a real partnership between the boys, the parents and the teachers. As such, we have a number of methods of communicating with you. The primary one is the diary, which goes home every night. This is very much a record of the positive things that happen at school. One of the whole school initiatives at Wyvern is THRAS. THRAS is an acronym for teaching handwriting, reading and spelling skills. It's a phonetic approach for teaching learners of any age about the building blocks of reading and spelling. It's primarily used in K-2 when the younger boys are learning about reading and writing, but it's also used in the older years to teach spelling. My name is Richard Baker and I'm the deputy in upper primary. Behind me, you'll be able to see one of the year six classes doing a maths inquiry unit. And we build that through looking at collaboration and managing the distractions and um, looking at uh, different resources that the boys will be using for that inquiry unit. So for boys education, the boys need uh, a lot more explicit teaching. So we'd start that, we'd start the lesson with the success criteria and the learning intention and we would visit that over the course of the lesson, which would be broken up into different sections. At the end of the lesson, the boys have the opportunity to check in with their teacher, how, how did they rank on that success criteria, and also have a, a, a greater understanding of what that learning intention was. Another way that we teach and we focus on our literacy skills is on the Big Write program that we have from kindergarten to year six. And the way that that works for our boys is they're given a specific topic on a Monday, and that is explicitly taught throughout the week. And then we have a whole hour a session, of a VCOP session that the boys do on a Thursday morning, and then a formal writing session that they do uh, after break. And they do that formal writing where we play Mozart, light candles, and the boys have that opportunity to do a formal piece of writing. My name's Alina Belshaw, I'm Head of Music at Wyvern, and we are in Wyvern Hall, our main performance and rehearsal space at Wyvern. Music at Wyvern consists of three parts. We have curriculum music, co-curricular music, and also private music tuition. As part of our curriculum program, all boys participate in a stage choir every week, where they rehearse for half an hour during school time. Each week, boys also have a classroom music lesson, in which they participate in activities to develop their listening, performing, composition, improvisation and notation skills. In Year 2, all boys participate in the Year 2 string program where they learn an orchestral string instrument, violin, viola, cello or double bass. In Year 3, this program is extended to also include wind, brass and percussion instruments. There are also lots of co-curricular ensembles. These include three levels of string ensembles and concert bands, a wyvern choir, wyvern jazz, a percussion ensemble and also some smaller extension chamber ensembles. At Wyvern, we do not expect every boy to grow up to be professional musicians. There will be some that do, but our goal is to create a lifelong love of music and to give boys the experiences and tools to become the best musicians that they can. I'm David King. 
I'm the Director of Administration here at Wyden House, and currently we're standing in the K-2 playground. Shortly, right through that door, hundreds of kids will be piling out for recess. At Wyman House, we understand our boys are engaging and very active young men. So we put a lot of things in place to support them on their development here. Our social emotional learning programs, such as Second Step, help those boys become the best that they can possibly be. We also have the support of a great team, not just our specialists and core teachers, but our school chaplain, and our school counsellor work with the boys on a daily basis to make sure they develop the positive relationships and friendships they need to thrive here. As part of their development, we also have a wide variety of incursions, excursions, and what's seen as a rite of passage for our boys, the compulsory school camps every year. The boys go off on a whole range of excursions and camps to learn more about the friends that they have and also to develop new friends while we get to know the boys away from the school setting. We've now finished up in the library uh, and it's good to see all of the boys coming into our library before school, during lunchtime and recess and during the school day. We love boys to read and their love of reading is an important part of what we do at library. I hope you've enjoyed through this morning looking at our school and looking at the facilities but also I hope that you've got a sense of the heartbeat of the school. We look forward to seeing you at some stage in the future, hopefully on a school in person. Thank you.